Hi guys. Beware of one role. Beware you're not playing the positivity party man role. This role, if if it's something that you're playing, you're, you're going to already probably have a, a keen, intuitive knowledge of what I'm talking about. Do you know, so often we can end up in, in modern culture, like if you think like social media, there's all this projection of positivity, projection of you and your smiley, happy moments, you of your up in the surfboard, crested wave moments and the roller coaster moments of life. When you're laughing, smiling in the arms of a beautiful woman, you're at the top of your game, giving a presentation like in front of the, 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 the corporate board, you're fucking nailing it. I mean, you have conscious capacity to choose what you project. You know, you go into a room, you go into a public room, maybe it's not like your room at home with your intimate partner or, you know, family, those nearest and dearest to you that intimately know you. You go into the party room, you know, a Christmas party, the party, like at the pub at the weekend, whatever. You know, there's social gathering at your club and you're always the one that's sort of keeping the, the smiles on other people's faces. You're, you're the, the positivity man. You're like, you're just... You're the guy that motivates everybody. You're the guy that, you know, everybody's having a bad day. Like, you're the one that, you know, you're, you're going to be the, the one that'll have the joke, have the smile, keep every, keep the energy up. So you're putting all of this energy out and it's wonderful and amazing and everybody loves you. But in the early hours of the morning or when you go home, you're in the car going home from the big event, the party and... You're going home from the, the big weekend retreat where you were all so positive and you're feeling empty. You are projecting so much positivity for everybody else. You've unwittingly got caught up and attached to the role of being Mr. Positivity for everybody else. But you're actually struggling to be by yourself. And be positive too. You're giving, giving, giving so much energy to the outside that you've got attached that, you know, the energy that you're getting from the outside is actually from the people approving of you. Of saying, oh, you're the great man. Of having a laugh. Oh, it's so good to have you. You're, you're the heart and soul of the party. There's all these, you know, affirming comments that you get from other people. You're the positivity party man. You're the... You're the guy that people want to have around, need to have around. And that's very powerful for the ego. But you know, if, if you in your own moments and own times are, are having a tough time with this and, you know, if you find, you'll find some days, maybe you just like prefer go into work or go to the party and dare I say it, just be quiet. Just have a simple drink. You might not go on the shots like you normally do and you just get a club soda and sit in the corner and maybe chat with somebody in the side or maybe just observe or maybe some nights when your mates say, oh, you're coming out, man, you know, like we're going to go crazy in the town, we'll do this, do that. Maybe you just want to stay at home. Read a book, go to bed early. But you feel this impulse that, no, like that's that's not allowed. You, you like have almost have this unconscious obligation to go out with the boys, to be that, you know, positivity party man. That's a prison. That's a trap. And, you know, so often, guys, we get caught in this because, you know, there's... I put my hand up. This this was for so often in my college days. I ended up, like, relying heavily on abusing alcohol because I always felt, you know, I got into this role, being the comedian, being the funny guy, the wild guy on nights out, and... You know, being the positivity guy around, you know, exam times, around people, you know, helping people through their problems. But I ended up getting so disembodied and so disconnected from the shit that was going on inside of me. I sort of just was all positivity. But on, you know, when I was in my own moments, I began struggling more and more and more because, you know, you can run, but you can't hide. I was putting out this facade and coming from sort of good intentions. But, you know, unless you fill your own cup, first and foremost so that you can be loving yourself and accepting yourself independent of the good and bad opinions of others you know you don't just feel good because other people are saying you're the man you know you're you're the heart and soul of the party you're mr Pos you're so nice you're such a good guy you're so friendly all this nice positivity 
become self-reliant, learning to become self-reliant on my own positivity, my own capacity to master my in inner chemistry, you know, the alchemy of my inner body. Now I haven't mastered, I'm learning more and more and more, you know, adapting my life to actually be able to sort of just feel good by myself, feel good in company, feel good being the heart and soul of the party and like just beaming out and laughing, but also being okay, just as okay to, you know, sit and have a quiet moment and just be quiet and reflective in the presence of a big crowd. Effectively, just learning more and more to allow myself to just be me in the moment and whatever that comes up, just flow with what comes up, but not getting attached to playing a role so that other people would accept me. Um, so my invitation to you guys is to just take, you know, take a reflective, a self-reflective look at, you know, what's what's coming up for you as you're listening to what I'm saying and are there some aspects or is this centrally of, of relevance for you in your life and maybe do you struggle with sometimes with, you know, admitting to other people, you know, I'm having an off day, I'm actually having a struggle today, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit down, you know, or if, if you're... And if you're finding that, you know, when you ask that, you actually find it, you're quite resistant and you don't have many friends, if any friends, that you can say, man, I'm going through a shitty period. It's really tough. I'm actually feeling quite down. I'm upset about X, Y, or Z. Yeah, you know, all that positivity after the breakup of the relationship. You know, I've, I've been down since then, you know. So if it's coming up that you're struggling with this, you know, I just... I. I invite you to slow down and, you know, just find somebody that you can reach out to. Maybe in the comments below, just, you know, just say it to the digital world. I, you know, I'll respond back to you or say it to a mate, somebody. Find somebody that you can just open up to safely um, and just, just express what's going on inside of you. Because it's the old saying, a problem shared is a, is a problem halved and it's so important for men us men to just start learning that expressing that is okay so being mr positivity that's beautiful i'm all about positive thinking i'm all about you know putting a smile in the world and bringing hope and joy and love into the world i'm all about that yet there are times when i just don't feel the the positivity party is all there and i experienced a bit of overwhelm last week quite a bit you know expanding expanding i had overwhelm and Several weeks ago, I was experiencing quite a bit of shadow work coming up and self-limiting patterns in erectile dysfunction, etc. You know, stuff happens. I'm human. I'm expanding unapologetically, but stuff happens. And I'm learning just to uh, to flow with it and love myself all the more. So the invitation there is there for you guys. Feel free. Start allowing that stuff. You know, the good, the bad, the ugly. Just just let it, let it flow. And without even judging it as good, bad, ugly. It's just you being you and... You know, whatever the rest of the world is doing, I accept you. I love you. I think you're awesome, no matter what way you're expressing. Have a beautiful day, and above all, you are enough. Love you lots, guys. Chat again soon.